Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Cadillac CT5V sedan, as well as learn about the features. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this building price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2020 Cadillac CT5V builds on the precision focus details of the all new luxury sedan to offer elevated road performance and an engaging driving experience. The 2020 Cadillac CT5V sedan is powered by Cadillac's high output 3 liter twin turbo V6 engine, which uses low inertia turbochargers to enhance power production across the RPM range. It is rated at 360 horsepower and 405 pound feet of torque. As we can see here, the starting price is $47,695. Some notable features. 10-speed automatic transmission, electronic limited slip rear differential, standard rear-wheel drive, though all-wheel drive is available, V-Series performance chassis with magnetic ride control 4.0, uh, performance traction management system, uh, there's a vehicle controlled mode with customizable V-mode, there's Brembo front braking, now we get 19-inch wheels with summer-only performance tires, or you can get all-season tires if you option the vehicle with all-wheel drive. There's also dark exterior accents and V-Series mesh grills with a unique rear diffuser and quad exhaust tips. Super Cruise is available. And unique performance persona instrument cluster and V-Mode steering wheel control is also a feature of the 2020 Cadillac CT5V sedan. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Cadillac CTV sedan. Here's the deal. I actually just recently did a build and price review of the 2020 Cadillac CT5 Sport, where I went all into all the features, all the details, all that stuff there. So what this video is going to be, since, the, since it's really the same website, this video is going to be a condensed version of that. So if you want a deeper version of me going through the CT5 Cadillac, I'm going to put a link in in the description below to that video, all right? I also am gonna put down in that description below some other videos, videos that uh, are related or you might be interested in. I've done a lot of Cadillac videos of V-Series cars uh, and, and things like that, so I'm gonna put a few links down there and the link to my Cadillac playlist, okay? So, with that said, let's do our, uh, let's, let's check out these colors, let's check out the exterior colors, let's check out what kind of interiors available on the 2020 Cadillac CT5. Let's check over the, the features, the standard features. They have a nice list to show us the standard features. And then we're actually going to just jump right into our build and price. But let's let's take a spin. Let's take a ride on the reading here and uh, take a spin around and take a look at this CT5. It's a beautiful, beautiful CT5V, excuse me. It's a beautiful car. This color here is Summit White. It comes in Black Raven. comes in Red Obsession Tent Coat. Satin Steel Metallic. Evergreen metallic, which I think looks actually kind of nice. Shadow metallic. Wave metallic, which looks to be a blue. Velocity red. And a royal spice. Uh, same colors, really, as the CT4. I just did a build and price of the CT4 Sport. And, uh, yeah, it, these are the exact same colors, basically. All right, so as far as the interior is concerned, whoop, as far as the interior is concerned, what do we got here? Here's a shot of the interior. Are they going to show us some better photos? The photos are very narrow, aren't they? So here's your interior photos uh, for the Cadillac CT5V. Okay, so what do we got here for seats now? We've got the uh, Sedona Savage with with black accents. So it looks like some kind of tan or saddle with some black accents. It's leather seats with Chevron perforated inserts. Then we've got the jet black with jet black. Oh, this is jet black leatherette accents. What's that all about? Oh, here's the here's the jet black with leather seats. Uh, with many perforations. Why don't they just have like a standard jet black leather? Why do they have to have? Why does a sentence? Have, why does that have to be so long just to say some seats? Whisper beige, with jet black accents, leather appointed seating with many perforated inserts. Well, we don't want whisper beige. I think we want jet black with jet black accents, leather appointed seating with many perforated inserts. That's what we want right there. That's what we want. What color exterior do we want? I don't know. I think I kind of like that green. So normally we'd go through these features right here, but like I said, I just did a build-in price on the 2020 CT5 Sport where I went through all this. So if you want to go through all this with me, like I said, check out that other video. The link's in the description below. What we're going to do now is we're going to go check another area that shows all the standard features that come on the CT5V, and then we'll do our build-in price. Okay, so right below the CT5V here 
it says trim details. And so I think if we click the trim details, it's going to give us just a list of standard features that come standard on this car for the $47,695 that they're asking on the website. Okay, so yeah, here it is. So here, interior stuff, gar carbon fiber decor, thicker rim, leather wrap steering wheel. I'm not going to read all of the stuff, just things that j jump out to me. Alloy pedals. Your standard seating is leatherette seating. That is your standard seating for that $46,000. But like I said, you we're going to option with, uh, with leather. 19-inch uh, wheels, uh, run-flat tires. That's cool. Uh, rear spoiler, lower diffuser. Uh, what kind of packages are available? Looks like be quite a bit. There's a available suede microfiber steering wheel and shifter. There's an available cold weather package. There's an available premium package that gives you the Q, uh, the cat, gives you the navigation. It gives you the infotainment with navigation, basically. It gives you the Bose speakers. Basically, it's the same package. Like I said, I just did the CT4. Sounds like the same kind of bundle that they were doing the CT4. Oh, but it also gives you the heads-up display. If you watch this channel, you know I love some heads-up display. There's also a platinum package. Gives you a parking package, seats, jet black accents, carbon fiber trim, ultra view dual pane, uh, sunroof, which is right here. Uh, there's some other 19-inch wheels that are available. They got some sev several different kinds of uh, run-flat wheels. They're all run-flat. These are all season. So yeah, they got some different things going on with the interior exterior there. Then we've got uh, what driver and safety assistance and performance. We already know about the engine on the performance, 10-speed automatic transmission, uh, quad tip exhaust, all that kind of stuff. It's got launch control, uh, performance suspension. Over here on safety and driver assistance, right? We got rear parking assist, rear parking assist, rear cross traffic alert, lane change alert, uh, rear vision camera, front pedestrian braking, four collision warning, all that. Then down here we got some packages. There's a driver awareness plus package, it gives you lane keeping assist, head up display. Uh, there's a driver assist and advanced security package. We'll read these in a little more detail when we get to the configurator. But we just want to kind of see now that, there, yeah, there's some packages, quite a few. This you, you see how you can rack at the car up to more money than where it starts at by all these packages. Parking package. Uh, there's an available all-wheel drive. There's high-performance brake linings. You could do blue or red brake calipers. Uh, yeah, there you go. All kinds of stuff. All right, uh, anything else on this page? I think so. Yeah, technology. Technology, there's the infotainment system they call Q, Q, which stands for Cadillac User Experience, Adaptive Remote Start, cool. Three USB ports, two 12-volt outlets, one-touch Bluetooth pairing, keyless access and start. Uh, yeah, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless charging. Okay, so for your money, you're getting quite a bit. You're getting quite a bit for your money. All right, so... We've kind of actually gone through everything that we know, and then we know everything about this new 2020 Cadillac CT5 V sedan. Anything else that we want to pick up? You want more? You want more show? Like I said, check out the other video. But now I think we're actually ready to do the build-in price. Okay, so here we are, 2020 CT5 V uh, sedan comes standard in rear-wheel drive. I want it for, and look, we're sitting at 47,190. What's it going to cost us with all-wheel drive? Uh. It says, changing your selection will reset your trim, color, option, and accessory selections. Okay. Well, let's do that. See what happens. Okay. So now we're at $49,790. So basically $50,000. And then they ask you, uh, what? Yeah, we already got our, our, our series. There we go. Let's move on to colors. What colors? I said I like the green, and I wasn't actually kidding. The evergreen metallic is nice. Very European of uh, Cadillac to do a color like this. The Audi has a beautiful Beautiful color like this. I think I did the Audi RS5 Sport, Sportback or something like that. I'm going to put a link down in the description below. Beautiful, beautiful shade of green. Matter of fact, I went to a Cars and Coffee, and I record. I like to do record Cars and Coffee sometimes, and I actually recorded a green, we don't need that, a green Audi. I'll see if I can find that uh, video and put that link in the description below as well. Okay, so for interior, it looks like there's only one deal. Why do we have the jet black with jet black accents, leather red seating surfaces? Do we? I guess over here under interiors where we where we can change that. Okay, let's go to packages next. There's a bunch of pla uh, packages, and these packages are expensive. Uh, the platinum package, ultra view. So does that give you basically everything? I'm gonna say no because I see that it's trying to give you that tan leather, 
And we certainly ultraview uh, power sunroof, uh, power mirrors, and all that, and that tan uh, leather. I don't want that. We don't want the platinum package. I can tell you that right now. Uh, do we want the premium package? What is the premium package all about? Power driver and front passenger lumbar seats, uh, massage, Cadillac uh, user experience with nav, navigation, heated driver and front passenger seats, automatic heated steering wheel, uh, ventilated drive. I don't really care about all that fancy schmancy stuff. Front corner, well, maybe that kind of stuff's kind of nice. Eight-inch color display, that's cool. Okay, I take it back. I think I like. I think we like the premium package. Let's go ahead and get that premium package. Uh, it's going to remove the leatherette seating surfaces, and it's going to give us leather-appointed seats that I can see right down here. It's going to cost us six thousand three hundred ninety dollars. Look at that. Look at that big jump. Now we're on the upside of uh, the closer side to sixty thousand dollars, right? We're on the wrong side of fifty grand. All right, parking package here. Now, what's all comes with this parking package? To be honest with you. Body color, power adjustable, power folding, mirrors, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I don't. Rear view camera, rear pedestrian alert, automatic parking assist, power tilt and tilt. Yeah, you know what? Actually, why not? Let's get this. I, I'm not trying to make this the most expensive one, but I really want this to be one car that rules it all. No disappointments on getting this car saying, hey, I'm going to buy this car, get everything I want. So later on, I don't go, oh, I should have got something else. Why do these seats not look exactly all black? Why is that? I guess they are sort of. Yeah, I guess they are all black. Here, let's check it out. Yeah, I guess those seats are all black. What do you think? Yeah, I think they are. Okay, the next package is a driver assist and advanced security package. Uh, locking wheel lock locks. I like it. I'm sold. Door lock and latch shields. Locking fuel door. Self-powered theft deterrent. Yeah, why not? Two, two grand, I'm in. I'm in on that. We already had the navigation and Bose premium audio package. We had the driver awareness package. Right, we got everything. Climate package. We're loaded up, buddy. We got the lighting package, and we're at sixty thousand dollars. Cars loaded. Cold weather package. We already had, the, already had that bundled into something else, and that's why that got removed. So the car is technically loaded, and for all those features, and maybe you know this, maybe you don't. If you like this car, you might also like German cars that this car competes against. And I can tell you right now, you're not getting all that for sixty thousand dollars in a German car that competes directly with this car. It ain't gonna happen. It's not going to happen. All right, so we got our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful evergreen uh, Cadillac CT5V. We need to throw some 20-inch wheels on this bad boy. All right, let's try these, these polished ones. Uh, let's see what they might look like. All right, so we got these polished wheels. Let's check it out. Hang on a second. All right, what do you think about these 19-inch wheels? Uh, I mean, these 20-inch wheels. Uh, they're all right. Oops, they're okay. Let's uh, Let's actually check out. What I want to do is I want to check out these 19-inch wheels here. These are, well, these are the same, but these are like diamond cut over the other ones. So let's see what they look like. Let's go to an enlarged photo and see what that looks like. That actually looks, pro I think maybe that looks nicer than the 20-inch wheel. Maybe that looks nicer than the 20-inch wheel, which is crazy because I normally want the bigger wheel and tire package. I normally want the bigger wheel and tire package, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to do that this time. I think we're going to go with these 19-inch 10-spoke diamond-cut alloy wheels with Android satin pockets. $600 upgrade. Uh, engine block heater, nay. High-performance brake linings? Yeah, why not? Uh, what color brake calipers do we want? Do we want blue or red? I think I ran into this before. Does blue go with green? Probably not, but I don't really care. I want the blue brake calipers. I did that on... Oh, I guess they're telling you it does not go with it. I guess I do have to care. <laughs> then give me the red ones then. They are told you, no, it doesn't go. That happened to me the last time. I can't remember what car that was. Happened to me the last time. They're like, no, silly, doesn't go. Uh, I think we already have uh, wheel locks because we did the security package. So let's move on. The interior, there's nothing we need to do in here because through packaging, it already hooked us up. Oh, these are cool. I saw this in the CT4 video, and it's just a saddle, a seatback organizer, but look how nice that leather is. That's some nice leather. You know what? We're getting it this time. I didn't get it with the CT4, but I'm getting it on this one. Uh, premium carpeted floor mats. Yes, we want that. All right. Uh, suede microfiber steering wheel. Probably not. Sounds like a good idea, but what if you have some greasy fingers? What if you're eating, like, some fries, you know? I'm not saying I would eat in my car, but, you know, sometimes you're in a situation and you get a little grease on your finger or something, that's probably going to leave a nice mark on that car. Where Versus leather, you could just clean leather. So I'm not really... I like microfiber. I think it's super cool. 
But I think for real world use, I don't know. I think it has its disadvantages. We have the heads up display. Uh, I don't think we need a collapsible cargo area organizer, or do we? Maybe we do for groceries and junk. So that way the stuff's not all falling all over the place. Yeah, we want that. Let's get that for a buck forty-five. Safety options. Looks like we're loaded up. We don't need a first aid kit or anything like that. I said I was going to do a video. I said I was going to do a video about General Motors because Cadillac is part of General Motors. And I say all General Motors sites, by the time they get you to the accessories right here, they got a bunch of junk that you don't necessarily need, right? Like a 46-piece toolkit. It's not a it's not a Cadillac CT5 V toolkit. It's just a toolkit they're trying to sell. And whether you're buying a Chevrolet or a Buick or a Cadillac, they're trying to peddle that stuff. So I always say we're skipping over these accessories. Okay, we're going to skip over the accessories. I got to create a video so I can start saying, defer people to my video as to why I skip over the accessories. All right, let's go to the summary. Uh, the summary's got us sitting at uh, what? Oh, it says C dealer for pricing. Why? What happened? What happened? At any rate, what happened there? So we know we're, we're under $70,000. I don't know what happened. Somewhere in there, we missed something there. Why is it on lease? I don't even know why. Uh, at any rate... At any rate, hang on. What happens if we go back to accessories? What happens if we go back to interior? Somewhere along the line, something got ticked. That oh, maybe it was the the something got ticked that changed the pricing out. But some the last number I remember was sixty thousand dollars and change, and I'm sure we're not that far off from sixty thousand dollars and change. What a beautiful car! I'm not kidding. In this green, beautiful car. Just gorgeous. I wish I could get blue brake calipers, but whatever. I guess I can't have this car my way. But it is gorgeous. It is. I'm not even kidding. I love this car. All right. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2020 Cadillac CT5V sedan informative, helpful, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video. Make sure to go check out some of my other videos that I put down in the description and in those links down there. Okay, buddy? All right.